We're finally pulling data from a real live web service and our code at this point has been pretty optimistic in the sense it's only accounting for a successful data return. So we should add some better error handling in case the server goes down or we have a bug in our code and we can display an error to the user. And I showed you earlier, we can catch the errors in the subscribe method, but we don't really wanna be handling and processing errors all the time in the component level itself. We'd rather keep this in the service level. And we're gonna do that by importing a little utility called catch error from RxJS. And you can find it at the following path, forward slash operators, and that's operators with an S, not operator. Next, we're gonna take our catch error operator here and we're gonna run it through what's called a pipe, which is available on every observable and it allows us to intercept a stream that's happening. And we can run that through other operators such as catch error, which will intercept all the errors that happen. And then we're gonna hand that off to another function called handle error, which we will define now. And we'll say private handle error. We're accepting a parameter called error and it is of type HTTP error response. And then we will return a new error observable that our subscribe method is expecting in order to trigger that catch. And then we will just pass in any message that we want to show to the user. So for now, we'll just say something went wrong and then we'll actually type in, we're passing the error dot message of the actual response that we got back. Now my IDE was importing a couple of these things on the fly as I typed them in. So make sure that you have these imported that being the HTTP error response, the catch error, the error observable. And then back in our movie list component, we'll actually add that extra error handler and we will set the error to the error that we get back. And then make sure that you make a new error property on your movie list component and then set that value to null because then we'll, we'll let the observable set the error if indeed there was one to come through. So next I'm gonna go into my template here and I'm actually gonna use another Angular directive that we get right out of the box from Angular called ngif. You can say star ngif. And ngif is going to allow us to show and hide elements on a page. So I can say if there's no error, go ahead and show my whole movie list. And if there is an error, I can show some different elements or different styling to indicate that an error happened. So I'll say ngif error. And then I'll just put the actual error that we have. So everything loads fine now, but if I actually go into the service and I cause this to fail on purpose, maybe I can mess up the URL here. We see our error message and we see something went wrong. And then we see a more technical response that we got from the error message itself.